What is up, Mo Squad? Welcome back to Wild Mo PG Falconer. I'm yours truly, Wild Mo Jang, and today we have a very special video. It's gonna be my first catch and cook. I wasn't even planning on doing one today, but I caught something special today. My first time catching this um, fish. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get back with y'all. Okay, guys, I'm back. Again, it's gonna be a catch and cook, my very first catch and cook. I'm gonna show you what I caught right quick. That is a common carp. Yep, a common carp. I wasn't even planning on doing a catch and cook video today because I was just trying to get out, have some fun, go fishing. I caught it from Squaw's Pond. Um, it's a local pond, maybe uh, five, 10 minutes away from my house. I'm gonna show you what I caught it on before we get to catch and cook. That is my 12 foot, 12 or 13 foot, um, what's it called, Sea Shiner fishing rod from Fred Sporting Goods. Shout out to them in Waldorf. Um, and now enough talking, let's get this catching cut. I'm about to scale and fillet this fish. But before that, if anybody doesn't want to see this, go ahead and leave this video right now. For those who do want to see it, make sure you have a sharp filet knife um, and or a sharp scaling knife. Okay, let's see if I can do this right quick. All right, let's see. First thing I'm gonna do is scale it with this um, regular kitchen knife right quick. Carp scales are very, a lot bigger than regular fish scales, so gotta be a little more forceful. It's my first time actually scaling the carp. Uh, dang. Too much filleted on both sides. Now I will fillet it for you. Okay, about to fillet it. The first thing you wanna do is get behind the pectoral fin and make a straight cut down, but not too deep so you don't pierce the intestines and all the bad organs and now stuff like that. Once you've cut, made a nice little cut right there. You wanna turn it sideways and follow along the backbone and along the ribs to get a nice fillet off. And then you, after you've done that, you just cut it all off. Go see if I can do this without messing up. Let's use the tip of the knife to start off with. Then as you finish cutting, you can go deeper and eventually the whole thing will come off. Okay guys, that's one nice fillet right there. Um, you can take off the skin. That's what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna put that in the video. It's up to you. All right, do the other side and then get to the kitchen, wash this off and so start I've cooking. skinned it and washed it. And now I'm about to season it and prepare it to go into the oven. This piece right here is the only bonus piece. This piece is way a lot, a lot more bonier. And this piece is, um, say medium bony, uh -huh, it's a little lobster tail. And so I'm about to season it. Okay, hey guys, so the fish is all seasoned up. Um, it's in a piece of tin foil. I'm gonna wrap it up and put it in the oven. The oven is set to 212 right now, but it's going up to 400. Um, it's preheated right now, but I'm gonna show you how I use. We got some chopped onion. It's Old Bay comes with black. <laughs> uh, Goya, all-purpose seasoning. I sprayed the pan with this um, nasty cooking spray. And got some ground paprika, some black pepper, and I'm also gonna put some butter on top of the fish and some lemon slices or lemon juice, whatever I can find. Wrap it in up. The and oven. Put it in the it's on 400 degrees. I'm leaving it in there for about 10, 15 minutes, and do a taste test on it and give you my honest opinion of how I think common carp tastes. Okay, okay guys. So we took it out and check on it right quick. It's been in there for about 10 minutes, and so far it looks pretty good. Got some lemon slices on there. Put some butter on there. It looks, it looks pretty good, actually. I was I'm surprised, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's finish letting it cook. Dear Lord, thank you for this food I'm about to consume. I pray that it provides nourishment for my body, and I pray that the spirit of spirit will be in a happier place right now. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay guys, the moment you're waiting for is here. I'm about to taste this common carp I caught two or three hours ago from Squaw's Pond. Let's do this. Get a piece of no bones. Bones. Okay, here we go. Wow. That is good. The carp is pretty good, guys. I can't lie. It's, it's not bad at all. It tastes like... It tastes like the, the restaurant um, baked fish a little bit. It don't got no, no fishy taste, no muddy taste like catfish. It tastes very plain for the seasoning. It makes it even better. Okay, guys, so on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this fish a 7.5. I run up to an eight because it don't taste bad at all. It tastes it tastes very light. Actually, don't taste 
like nothing you would do be disgusted by. All right, that was good, y'all. That was good. I'm not lying. I'm not capping. I'm not welling. That was good. All right, now before I forget, here's some footage of me at Squaw's Pond with the fish I've caught, which starts right now. All right, so y'all, I'm at Squaw's Pond up Marlboro Mellon by the courthouse building right there. And I was using regular earthworms' bait. And I big caught carp. Almost longer than my foot. God damn. First carp of my life at Squaw's Pond. All right, that's nice. it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed yourselves. More videos on the way. Hit that subscribe button and like button and tap that notification bell. Uh, more videos on the way. All right, y'all stay blessed.